Hey guys, so today I wanted to share my vegan cheese recipe with you. You can use it for a bunch of different recipes, and yeah, um, it's really good, and it solidifies if you have it in the fridge, and melts again if you warm it up, so it's really good. Start off with two cups of potatoes and one cup of carrots. So here I'm just peeling the carrots and the potatoes. And then you obviously just want to wash it all off. And I used four potatoes and two carrots, but I didn't end up using all the potatoes because it was more than two cups. So then just cut up your potatoes and carrots and put them in a pot and put some water in, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and cook them until they are soft. So just poke them with a fork and they'll be ready once you can poke through them easily. Then you'll need half a cup of nutritional yeast. So now my potatoes and carrots were done and then you just want to add them to your blender and like I said two cups of potatoes and one cup of carrots. I had a bit of extra so I just left those beside. Then you can add in your nutritional yeast and half a cup of water. I used the water from the potatoes and carrots I boiled but you can use just regular water or whatever you want. And then you'll need one third a cup of vegetable oil one tablespoon of garlic powder, and about half a tablespoon of uh, cayenne pepper. So if you don't like spicy stuff, I'd suggest you skip this step because it does turn out kind of spicy. And then you'll also need about one teaspoon, or yeah, one teaspoon of salt. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. And uh, you want one tablespoon of any kind of seasoning so I just added just a regular regular seasoning salt and then you want to blend it up so here I'm releasing the air because it does get really hot and I've heard that people's blenders can explode or like you know make a huge mess if you don't release the air so don't risk that anyway this cheese you can use on a lot of things I use it for nachos and mac and cheese and all sorts of things like that and this is what it turns out looking like here I used it on some mac and cheese and yeah and this also stores in the fridge really good for up to a week or even a bit longer than that uh, I've only tried it for a week because it's gone before then and also another really good thing is putting it in mashed potatoes it gives it a really good flavor so you can use it for that or whatever. Um, I also use it on um, tostadas. So you can fry tortillas and until they're crunchy and then put them, put the cheese on top and beans and what, avocado, whatever other toppings you want. And yeah, you can try all sorts of things with it. I also use it on enchiladas. So yeah, let me know what kind of recipes you use it on and I hope you like this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.